La Santa Muerte, or the Holy Death. She's a kind of female Grim Reaper, a new spiritual figure that has been popping up all over Mexico. Like many urban jungles, Mexico City is a wild place, with millions upon millions of people competing for limited space and resources. Naturally, crime and death are a part of life here. And nowhere is this more true than in Tepito, a barrio famous for its markets, boxers, and more than a few drug dealers and gunslingers. This is where the Santa Muerte feels right at home. This is a typical stand for the Santa Muerte that you could find anywhere in Mexico City and really anywhere all over Mexico, where people come and buy their images of death, basically in the form of statues, incense burners, ashtrays, keychains, even fully dressed dolls. Devotees pay their respects to La Santa at street shrines, giving her gifts like cigarettes, fruit, and tequila. The most famous of these shrines was set up seven years ago by Doña Queta. She says Mexicans have long venerated La Santa Muerte, but in hiding. Now, thousands visit her altar. Santa Muerte devotees, both young and old, say she makes miracles and protects them. They say the Holy Death does not replace their Catholic faith, but actually enhances it. They also say their mother, Death, cares for poor and marginalized people in a way that the Catholic Church fails to do. Romo is not a traditional priest. He presides over a renegade church he built himself that venerates the Santa Muerte. Por eso la gente se acerca, aquí no hay limitantes, aquí puede comulgar el que es divorciado, el que es este, casado nuevamente, nupcias, eh, se acerca a comulgar el que es gay, el que no lo es, en fin, nosotros no criticamos su forma de vivir, nos interesa la salvación de su alma. Este me ha cambiado totalmente mi vida porque me ha sacado de muchas cosas, de la calle, de la droga de prisión, me ha hecho muy, demasiados milagros, por eso me entrego totalmente a él. But other Tepito folks say the Santa Muerte followers include many drug traffickers and thugs who are drawn to the deadly image because of the world they inhabit. In the life of us, daily, daily, we see the situation of the narco traffic, of the selling of drugs and all. And in that life that we are living, we also see the situation of that many people are drawn to the belief of the Santa Muerte. Criminals who believe in her think they have spiritual protection from their enemies. Santa Muerte is a cause of aumento de la violencia porque se cree que se puede actuar impunemente protegido por una divinidad. Entonces, eh, no solamente yo tengo mis propias fuerzas o astucia humana, además tengo una protección divina. Y por supuesto que esto alienta y por supuesto que esto envalentona y esto hace que haya más delincuencia. Santa Muerte preachers have carved out turfs around Mexico City. One built a towering statue of the Muerte that can be seen from miles away. The preacher was known as the Panther, or the Godfather, and many of his followers loved him like a parent. But in August, assassins shot him dead with over a hundred bullets, in a killing that remains unsolved. The Panther's widow has taken over the sanctuary. So we're here at the Padrino Sanctuary in the industrial outskirts of Mexico City. Today, his devotees are going to be commemorating the one month anniversary of his death. And also, because it's Mexico, Independence Day. Priests in Mexico City say La Santa Muerte belongs to the occult and encourages crime and death. Still, her following just gets bigger and bigger. You can find Santa Muerte altars in Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, and even in Spain and Australia. So we've seen death dressed as a bride, death as jewelry, and even death as the life of the party. It's easy to understand the reverence, the attraction that many people feel towards death. After all, when you really think about it, there's only one thing certain in life, and that's that it ends. <laughs>